a terrible crash involving little children tonight. A five-year-old and three-year-old riding in a car were on their way to a pool party when an SUV slammed into the car. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The awful collision happened at the intersection of Curtis Avenue and Fontenelle Boulevard. New at 10, reporter Maya Signs went to the scene and spoke with witnesses. Maya? Yeah, Craig, Jen, the three-year-old boy was transported to the hospital with CPR in progress and underwent surgery at the hospital tonight. The five-year-old boy and two others are also at the, at the hospital with injuries. I spoke to a couple of people who helped rescue the boys and others. This is the mangled car that had five people inside, including the two children. Sergeant Jason Menning with the Omaha Police Department says a silver Buick was going northbound on Fontenelle, while a gold SUV was traveling westbound on Curtis. He says the driver of the SUV was speeding and there was a terrible collision. Everything's under investigation. We have conflicting from several different witnesses uh, about who had the green or who didn't. Manning says three young women between the ages of 16 and 20 were in the Buick. They were babysitting the two boys and were on their way to a pool party. Police say neither of the boys was in a booster seat or wearing a seatbelt. The driver of the SUV and one of his passengers ran from the scene. A second passenger got it hurt and had to go to the hospital. It's heartbreaking as a parent, you know, seeing two kids on the ground hurt and everything. And Karina Harris called 911 when she heard the crash. Her husband ran to help. My husband came back and took him down some water and I got the police on the phone and just saying prayers that the two kids that I seen pulled out were okay. Arnett Barnes was stopped at the red light. The wreck happened right in front of him. One of them was pinned, you know, the door and another kid, he was in between them. And, uh, you know, the first thing I went, I'm a husband and I'm a father. So I'm like, all right, we got three ladies in here. You know, that's the husband mode. Like, let's get the ladies out first. And I see kids, the kids, all right, now I'm a father. And I'm like, this could be my family. I got to, regardless of, you know, racial, whatever, the color, whatever. It's like, look, I got to get them out. Now, police are still searching for the two people from the SUV who fled the scene on foot. The driver is described as a young black male in all black clothing. The names of the victims of the crash have not yet been released. Reporting live from the studio at Maya Sign, 3 News Now. Now to our other big story. Tonight, a family is mourning the loss of a 15-year-old boy at Lake Manawa. He drowned in about five feet of water after falling off an inner tube. Around 1 this afternoon, emergency crews rushed to the lake in Council Bluffs searching for the teen. They brought in dive teams and equipment. People linked arms and formed a human chain searching for the boy. They ended up having everyone get out of the water and having like people that were able to swim, they were to go in there and help look for him. And we all ended up forming like a big line and walking through the water to see if we could find him. Authorities located the teen's body using sonar. Unfortunately, he was dead at the scene. Council Bluffs fire officials tell us there were three lifeguards on duty at the time. Now, your weather alert first forecast. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Stitz in for Jennifer. This evening on Memorial Day, it was a very hot holiday weekend. Four days in a row in Omaha of at least tying or breaking those record high temperatures. Here's the old records for the dates 97, 96, 94, and 97. We tied that on Friday at 97, and today we hit 97. The two broken records Saturday and Sunday when we hit 100 and 101 degrees. Good news is that is the end of our record heat over the next few days. We'll start to cool things off. Had a number of spotty showers and thunderstorms out there as we finished off your Memorial Day. Most of that has come to an end over the last couple of hours. Just a few spotty sprinkles left across the Omaha Metro, but we are quickly drying that out. And the only leftover little shower we have out there, generally moving the direction of Atlantic Iowa, but most of that probably not going to make it all the way to Atlantic. So overnight, most of us going to keep it dry from here on out, but it will be warm, dropping into the upper 70s over the next couple of hours. And by early Tuesday morning, we bottom out near 70. We'll start Tuesday lots of sunshine, but eventually some hit and miss storms returning to the area. I'll the full forecast coming up in just a bit. Well, this record heat is causing problems for the aging roads and pipes in the Omaha area. A chunk of the intersection at 84th and Harrison in La Vista buckled on Sunday. A couple of lanes are now closed. The delays have some drivers worried about the summer ahead. Especially with College World Series coming and people going to the zoo and I'm just driving from work to go pick up my youngest son and I'm ready to pull my hair out, let alone having people coming from out of town. 
La Vista officials expect the lane closures to last through the week so crews can make the repairs. The oppressive heat might be difficult to deal with for people with breathing issues. Ozone concentration levels remain in the moderate category. Higher levels of ozone can be dangerous for those with respiratory conditions. Research shows not letting cars idle and mowing your lawn in the evening help offset the ozone problem. Around the nation, many people across the country pause today to remember our war dead. President Donald Trump laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier today at Arlington National Cemetery, right there. The president was joined by Defense Secretary James Mattis. The president saluted and spoke briefly with each service member. Here in Omaha, dozens of people gathered at Prospect Hill Cemetery on this Memorial Day with a look back at the past. Today's celebration featured people wearing clothing from the era of Omaha's founding fathers. A 21 musket salute and speakers highlighted the history on display at the cemetery. Well, it's a day of reflection, of course, uh, about all those who made sacrifices uh, for our country. We need to remember our freedoms uh, because of what went on before. We're free today and uh, we just don't sometimes realize how lucky we are. A nonprofit organization maintains the cemetery grounds. If you'd like to donate to the cemetery's upkeep, there's a link on our website, 3newsnow.com. And this story is extremely touching. On this Memorial Day, the family of a World War II pilot shot down in Japan honored him in western Iowa. His sister, fellow service members, and a congressman were there for the tribute today. Reporter Megan Hahn has the story. 73 years after the death of Captain Odell Woods, the late airman's family is receiving his medals of honor. He was liked by everyone and he was very friendly. He was very respectful and loving son to my parents. Perfect. <laughs> Captain Odell Woods was only 24 when he lost his life to enemy fire while flying a B-29 over Tokyo Bay. Well, he really did love to fly. It's just one of those things, you know, that a lot of families went through when their sons were lost in the war. The Ottawa, Iowa serviceman dreamed long of becoming a pilot. He entered the Army Air Corps to do what he loved best and died a war hero. He hung onto those controls and, and guided that airship, as they called it, that ship, until they could try to get the wounded out of the plane. And there were four or five parachutes that opened from that plane, not his and not his co-pilots, because they stayed in the cockpit to save as many as they could. The Second World War ended just two months after Wood's death. Today, he would be 97 years old. But all these decades later, his memory is alive and strong. I was trying not to, but it does mean a lot. And um, I had a twin sister, which she's already passed away, and I'm the last one that could re request these because I'm the last relative. This Memorial Day, his surviving sister Elaine Woods Johnson was presented with the late captain's war medals. Among them, the Purple Heart and World War II Victory Medal. I'm sure he'd be very happy of his, <laughs> his sister. <laughs> um, yes, he would be, he would be. Congressman Steve King presented the late Airman's family with today's medals in recognition of Captain Wood's service. The congressman also presented the families of two others killed in the line of duty with medals this Memorial Day. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. Omaha police were called to a rollover crash tonight out near Elkhorn at 182nd and Blondo. Two people were in that car right there when the driver lost control. It rolled. One person was thrown from the car, the other pinned. Investigators believe alcohol and speed were factors.